Hi, oh, Croeso, welcome back to Britain's Hidden History with me, Ross Broadstock. And this is a very strange one, which I am struggling to explain. And what we're going to be looking at is how we can get a connection <laughs> between what we have as the Elvis Festival, so those Elvis fans like me, I'll play a bit of guitar at the end just to warn you, and how we have the world's largest Elvis gathering in Porth Call, not that many miles from where the ancient connections with Elvis and the name Elvis Presley comes from. And the twist at the end will really freak you out. Well, it freaked me out. Check this out now. Okay. So, the, first of all, the surname, Presley, right? Well, this is there's a set of hills in West Wales called the Preselis. And that's where the name comes from. Preseli, Elvis Preseli. And what you might not be so aware of is as marked out this map here down in the Preseli mountains there is indeed a place called saint elvis elvis in the Preselis, elvis presley seriously so there we go and here's an old map this is going back to the 19th century and you can see it used to be quite prominent you can see the name there saint elvis elvis quite prominent and in modern terms it's now named more after the farm there's a little farm there now, I think the person who owns that farm is going to hate me because I would say that, um, or they might make a fortune out of it and open up a new visitor centre or something. Because anyone going to Porth Call for the annual uh, sort of Elvis migration, <laughs> the celebration, should definitely make a little Porth Call to go to St. Tylo's Church, which is the new name, the old name, that should be, we'll come on to that as Elvis as well. Go to St. Elvis, get your picture at the sign of St. Elvis Priscelli, right? Elvis Priscelli. Now, look at the name itself, all right? Because this is where it starts to, things get a little bit bonkers, all right? So we've got St. Elvis of the Preseli, right? Elvis Presley. So let's see. If we've got our old Welsh dictionaries out, what can these names mean, okay? Right, so we all know he's known for his dancing. Look at this. L, as in Elvis, right? L, this is the old Welsh dictionaries. What has in itself the power of motion, a moving principle, an intelligence, a spirit, an angel? So you've got Elvis moving there. And how does he move? Visk. This is the nearest we got to this. This viz. There's no V in Welsh. So you've got Elvis. A quick course. Impetuosity. So you've got the crazy Elvis dancing, all right? And Elf. You want to get just Elv. This is weird as well. It's got Elv because it says no V in Welsh. So the F is a V sound. So Elv is what moves in a simple or pure state. A spirit or a demon. Ooh. Then you've got Uz. So it's another way of looking at Elvis. Elv is... And that is that arises or issues out that proceeds that is active, violent, or consuming a combustible, combustible principle. It's explosive. So you've got this uh, this spirit, this explosive spirit, leaping out. This Elvis. What about Presley? All right. What about Presley? Well, there's there. There's a shot of some of the Presley Hills. It's absolutely stunning. I spend a lot of time up there. There's lots of. Uh, Cans and stuff. Right, so we got the, so the more tradition. If you go on Wikipedia, it says no one knows where the name Presley or Preseli comes from. But you've got the, you've got the old Welsh word pressel is a place overgrown, grown as with furs and the like, a break. I'm not sure if that works particularly well. Let's have a look what else we got here. So we'll break the word down. We've got pres, your haste and speed making. Pres, imminent at hand, quick, ready, hasty. So back to that. Dancing again, right? The imp immediate. But also, means a sharp or shrill voice. <laughs> How weird is that? So you get the word prez. Um, then now, the, if you look at an old... Uh, this is on Wikipedia, right? You find an old 1883 publication, which I haven't tracked down. Uh, it's the ancient Welsh name is Presolva. So Presolva. How does place of residence? So this is the place where you'd go to see Elvis, all right? What does Presolva mean? This, this is where it gets weird, all right? Oil is a gush out, a wail. So you should have heard the, the, the band begin to wail, you know, the wailing or a weeping. So all this ties in, right? It's getting strange. But the biggest twist is yet to come. And this is where it gets very, very strange. So let's do a quick summary. So we've got Elv or L, which is this motion, this spirit, this demon. And then we've got Is, this violent, consuming. So got the violent. It's very controversial when Elvis came out. A lot of people want to ban him because of his dancing and his kind of power over people's minds. You've got the hasty, the speed, the shrill voice. It's all confined in to give us Elvis Presley to move onward to go or to wail. But there's one more, one more twist. This, this you're going to love, all right? Check this out. When we're looking, so how do we get from the ancient uh, Elvis Presley, then we got this sort of the biggest 
Elvis impersonator in a will. I just had my hair cut, man. I had my quiff beautiful. It'd been great for this video. And what do we have? So we've got the old word for Elvis is Clan Isleview. Is your soldier there? What do you think Isleview means? <laughs> Look up an old dictionary. I have not made this up. Isleview is how you get the word Isleview. Isleview is being second to or like. The verb Isleview is to imitate or resemble. How freaky is that? So near a place called Elvis, the old Welsh, uh, you've got to, all the singing, the dancing, and the old name means to imitate or to resemble. And we got the biggest uh, Elvis impersonator event in the world. If you want to go along, I'm going to have to go on, I September. Uh, September 23rd to 25th, it's back on, all the COVID's gone, all that kind of stuff's full on. And it's going to be back, and it's going to be in Porth Core, where I was yesterday. Beautiful beaches, have a great time, come to South Wales. So, <laughs> let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the hall cell block. Dancing to the jailhouse rock. Yeah, maybe I should get a little bit more practice uh, before September. And don't forget, subscribe. There's loads more stuff about cool things with the Welsh language and history you might not have known before. So, till the next time, peace, which is Heather.